What is up everyone? So maybe you've seen this video by Polymars on how to make a triple A FPS multiplayer game by simply clicking on the multiplayer button. Obviously, this is a way of mocking how some people think games are made. But what if Meta actually made it happen with their latest feature? So in today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can build your own mixed reality game in just a few clicks using the building blocks. So what are building blocks? Basically, it's a feature for beginner, but also for developer who want to speed up their development process. It has a list of the basic features you expect in a mixed reality game. You can simply drag them in your project and it will do all the setup for you. So without further ado, let's have a look at how to use them. And as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to not miss the next tutorial. You can of course support my work on Patreon and get access to not only the source code of my project, but exclusive content. The link is in the description. Okay, so we are in a completely fresh Unity project and if you go to File, Build Settings, make sure here to select Android and to switch the targeted platform to this one. And the first thing that we are going to do is to install here the Meta XR all-in-one SDK that you can find in the Unity Asset Store. I'm going to write here the URL in the description down below, but then you simply need to click on Open in Unity, Open Unity Editor. There you go, now let's click on install. Okay, then send usage statistics. And if it asks you to restart the editor, let's simply restart the editor. Okay, beautiful. Now, if you go to package in project, you will be able to find here the Meta XR all-in-one SDK, which is installed in this project. Now we can close the package manager. And at this point, let's see how many clicks we will need to create a mixed reality game with the building blocks and the other meta features. And the first thing that I want to do is go to Oculus, Tools, Project Setup Tools. And as you can see, here is another great features from the Meta SDK that will allow us to configure the whole project for both desktop and Android just with a few clicks. So what I'm going to do is select here the Android and click then on fix all. This will take a few seconds. There you go. Now let's click on apply all. And there you go. Now that all elements seems to be good. Let's do the same on desktop over there and click on fix all as well and make sure that there is no issues. So basically what this does is to set your project to the correct settings for the MetaQuest development. For example, if we go to XR plugin management, we can see that now we have the plugin provider that is selected to Oculus on both Android and desktop. And if you go back to Oculus, you will see here a detailed list of all the things that it has done. For example, change the minimum Android API level to 29, setting the ARM64 as the target architecture and much more. So as you can see, this on its own is a very, very good feature to make sure that your project is correctly configured. But now let's close these windows and let's have a look at the star of today's show, the building blocks. So I'm going to click on Oculus, Tools, and then on Building Blocks over there. And here it is, the mighty building blocks. So basically, we can have a look at here different features that we expect in a mixed reality game. We have the camera rig, the path through, the room model, the surface projected path through. We have the control tracking, the hand tracking, even some more experimental features like here the virtual keyboard, the pointable item, pokeable, throwable, grabbable. And here we have these four, which I didn't know about before recording this video, are some utility tools that you can use to debug mixed reality and which, if you want, I can cover in a separate video. Now, anyway, let's try this out by simply putting this windows next. And if we simply click on the camera rig and drag it in the inspector, as you can see, this will add here a camera rig. So a camera rig is composed of a Noviar manager here, which is the component responsible to say basically the different feature of our game. And if we go under this camera rig, we can see that it has already set up everything we need with a center eye ensure, which is basically the camera used in VR, a left hand ensure to follow our left hand and a right hand ensure to follow our right hand. So basically, this is an already pre-configured player that we can use for our game. And now if we have a look at the other camera, which was used by default in our scene, you can see that it is now disabled by default. So as you can see, the building block will make sure to do all the setup on door on our scene and on our project to make it work. 
The only thing that I noticed is that on the OVR manager, as I'm using a Quest 3, it has uh, not enabled the Quest 3 by default. So let's simply check over there. And now let's add another building blocks. In my case, I'm going to drag here the control tracking. So let's drag it over there. And as you can see, if we go under the right and ensure, we can see that we have here another building block that has been added automatically to our camera rig, which is the controller traffic left, which will display some controller that will follow our left and right hand. Now let's do the same for end tracking and drag the end tracking building block in our scene. And as you can see, again, this has added this feature in our scene in just one click. And by the way, if we go to the camera rig on our OVR manager now, we can see that the end tracking support is set to controller and hands and that the end tracking version is already enabled. So it has done all settings on our project that we want. Okay, so let's have a test at this. I'm going to put the building blocks windows to the side. And here I have my Quest 3 ready with Oculus Link. And let's click on play to find out if this works. Okay, and here you go guys. So as you can see, I'm in VR, everything is well configured and I can see my little controllers in front of me. This is really cool. But now if I put my controller on my desk, let's see if end tracking is working. And there you go, end tracking is working. As you can see, this is awesome. Okay, and now time to have some more fun with these building blocks and see what else feature we can add. So in my case, I'm going to drag now the path through feature over there. Now, as you can see, this will add this building block path through with a Novia path through layers. And if we go again on our camera rig, as you can see down below, we can see on the inside over there that it has enabled path through for us. You can even add a room model or surface projected path through if you want. Now, in my case, on top of adding the hand tracking controller, I want to show you what you can do with the interactor. So basically on these building blocks, you also have something that I didn't expect. You have some element from the interaction SDK, which is Meta own way of interacting with the object. So let me show you how this works. So for example, let's have a grabbable item. So let's simply drag it over there. And what this does is actually add here the interaction SDK. So basically, if we go under the interaction SDK, we can see that for the end tracking under the left end and the right end, we now have here this building block left grab and this building block right grab, which are two interactor, which means that there are things we can interact with and which will enable you to grab stuff. And with these building blocks, let me scroll a bit down. As you can see, it has also added here a grabbable item, which is over there. So basically a cube that we will be able to grab with hand tracking. And just for fun, let's do the same now with a throwable item, which will be the same thing as for the grabbable, but this one we will be able to throw it. So let me just select it and maybe put it to the side. Now the problem with this one is that as you can see, it has a rigid body over there, which means that it will have some gravity applied to it. So what I'm going to do is right click, go to 3D object cube to create a cube. We can press on R scale it down a little bit there you go and i'm going to move this one up and this will serve us as a table for our game so let me just right click create a material call this one black and change the color of this material to black we can then assign this new material on the desk that we want and i'm going to put here the grabbable on top of this table as well as the throwable items Oh, and by the way, if you want to have more beautiful hands for hand tracking, I suggest you to drag here the synthetic hands building block instead. And there you go. Now at this point, by simply dragging some building blocks in our scene, we should have a camera rig working with path through, hand tracking, controllers, and object that we can grab. So only one way to find out, and it is to build our game. And there you go, guys, a mixed reality game made in just a few clicks. I'm really happy to see Meta making their SDK more accessible, and I hope they will continue to do so by adding more building blocks for their other feature or their interaction SDK. For example, the locomotion, the user interface, the hand gesture. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to subscribe and like the video down below. A big shout out to my new Patreon, which will appear on the screen right now. And if, like them, you want to get access to the source code of all of my videos and exclusive content, join us. The link is in the description.